This is the hypnotic beat of the daf, the Kurdish frame drum. The rhythms of the daf are central to rituals like this zikr in the Sufi tradition, the mystical side of Islam. The daf is played in ceremonies from birth to death. Its beats echo through all aspects of life. Historical evidence shows that the daf existed long before the rise of Islam. The drum was played in Zoroastrian rituals, though much of the knowledge of the traditional rhythms and melodies have faded from memory. Hussein Zahawi has played the daf for over 20 years. I think the sound of the instrument was probably the first <clears throat> the first magnet which drew me to this instrument because it was so mystic, it was so powerful, it was it had so many things to say. Um, um, playing the daf is a quite an important for me is it's not just an instrument I would say. It's an it's instrument that that can that tells a story of a culture. Um, the daf of course, as, a, as a, the, one of the most prime uh, percussion instruments uh, in Kurdish music, and now you know the daf is so popular around the world. A lot of people know about the daf. Um, but for me, it was playing the daf as an instrument, but also trying to tell a story of a nation. You know, a nation which has had a lot of ups and downs in the history. The daf has very simple architecture. A piece of animal skin is stretched over a round wooden frame. Chains are attached to the interior of the frame. Ghazi Musli Sheikho Dabak says he and his two brothers are the last craftsmen in the Kurdistan region and Iraq, making the daf in the traditional way. They have a shop in an alley near Erbil's Bazaar. Most drummers now buy their da from craftsmen in Iran.
Frame drums exist around the world. The Irish Bauron, the Pandero in Brazil, the Turkish Bandir. But the daf is very unique in how it is played. It is carried, balanced, and played at the same time, making it one of the most physically challenging drums to play. Though the daf has strong religious roots, it is also a cultural symbol in Kurdistan. And when we say daf, we think of Kurdistan. You know, it's a Kurdish instrument. It's a national Kurdish instrument. And it's, I think, you know, what is interesting is if you, when you go to Kurdish villages throughout the pan-Kurdistan, if a family does not play it, but it's displayed on their walls, it's something to have inside your home because it is so connected to, this, to, the, to the Kurdish people. Other frame drums are also unique, you know, from different parts of the world. But the, 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 the Kurdish frame drum, the Kurdish stuff, has this soft, but also this aggressive, wild um, side to it. The sound of the instrument, you know, uh, uh, the timbre, the timbre of the instrument is so connected to Kurdish. And every time when I'm performing around the world, and they say, wow, that sounds great, that sounds awesome. And I say, well, you know, that's it, you know, it's the sound of his people.